Moab. Home to Slick Rock, Colorado River Adventure, and some of the best off-road trails in the West. For Connie Scholes, a real estate agent from Salt Lake City, Moab was one of those places you hear about, but never really take time to experience. Her link to this red rock oasis on Highway 191 in southeastern Utah went far beyond what she really understood, though. Sometimes we can be connected with a place and it just takes one visit for our eyes to fully open. The reason why I want to go down to Moab is uh, my dad had passed away about four years ago and that was his favorite place. So every year I take him to a special place that he loved and take his ashes down there. So I took him down to Moab, went, did some hiking and then did some mountain biking. He loved Moab. I had seen pictures of where he'd gone so I actually went back to those certain spots that he just really loved and adored and took his ashes there and just kind of let him go back and see it again. Moab is a diverse locale with ridges, canyons and bluffs. One of the destinations on Connie's list was White Rim. The White Rim Trail is a multi-day adventure through some of the most impressive landscapes in the Moab area. The entire loop is 103 miles, traversing Canyonlands National Park and overlooking the expanses of the west. Smaller sections can be ridden for just a day ride or a few hours, and other than a couple of stiff climbs, the majority of the trail is fairly easy slick rock riding, perfect for beginners like Connie. That was interesting. I had to have an instruction in the parking lot, learn how to shift the gears and stuff. We just started riding all over. It was really fun. It was a really good experience. I loved it. It's a way to, to get out into the nature and the wilderness of you know this area, plus numerous other places you can go and travel, and really just become like one with your surroundings. You know, Just traveling by bike, it's a very fluid thing. It's fun. It's challenging. It gets you out there faster in a way, sometimes just to a place where you then want, you want to hike from there. So we have trails that we can take, you know, the beginners or the people that are really new to this activity on. And where we've just been riding today is one of the, those, those trails. Biking is only part of Connie's agenda. In order to find those out of the way spots that were so cherished by her father, she takes to her own two feet. The hike was um, interesting. It was just on Slick Rock. A lot of people were over there with bikes and motorbikes and just hiking and stuff. Really cool, just really pretty. Trees growing through the rocks and just water all of a sudden there and just different things. As the day progresses, Connie sees things that were once seen by her father as he stood in the exact same spot, experiencing this world of red in the same way he did. The splendor of Moab is second to none. The activities are limitless. In a place like this, it's easy to reevaluate things and contemplate our very existence. You would be hard pressed to find a better place to change your perspective than right here. Things back home seem just so important and so, you know, like right around you, and all of a sudden they, they kind of melt away and they become insignificant for the time that you're here. And the scenery, the landscape, I mean, I don't think there's enough words to describe Moab. It's so gorgeous. I'd say, go see Moab. And when Connie returns one day, she will not be alone. No, my dad was there with me in spirit. He goes with me everywhere. From the crimson horizon of Moab, Utah, I'm Stephen Human for AYL.